Off and on, when I was a kid, I would have um, issues with my stomach and growing pains and things that they just attributed to other things. Olivia Govan says growing up, she had a normal childhood, was constantly outside playing or riding her horses competitively. She says she never suspected anything was wrong until several years later. And every doctor she spoke with couldn't find a diagnosis. It was awful and frustrating. I felt like I was dying and nobody believed me. She says she stumbled upon an article online and found a specialist in Boston who finally gave her the answers she'd been looking for. Spent about 10 minutes with me and said, you either have Lyme disease or some yet to be discovered illness. It was a huge relief to me to have uh, something that was wrong, a reason for why I was feeling so bad. Lyme disease has been around since the late 1970s, but it didn't make its appearance in Maine until about 10 years later. Maine has about 14 different species of ticks, but it's only the deer tick that carries this particular disease. According to the state's epidemiologist, about 60% of people bitten by the deer tick get this rash. Lyme disease can be transmitted by either the bite of an adult tick or the bite of a nymph. Now the nymph is a little immature tick and it's that the nymph that actually causes most of the cases of Lyme disease. And in the other 40% of cases, it can go undetected sometimes for years. And the doctor was pretty blunt with me. When I went in there, um, he was like, you've had it for 10 years and you didn't know you had it. He said some of these things will never go away. Gonvin says she had to take 19 different pills and at one point was on between 8 to 12 different antibiotics. And it's a challenge day to day. It's sort of like having the flu, but it never goes away. It has some um, pretty serious mental effects on you as well as physical. She says she's never found a tick on her, but did say it's worth checking yourself when coming in from outside to prevent getting Lyme disease. It's kind of impossible to understand and nearly, if not more impossible to explain to someone the way it feels. I truly don't believe you can understand the way it feels unless you have it, which I wouldn't wish on anyone. Gouvain says she also wants people to have some patience and be more understanding with those who are diagnosed with the disease. Coming up, I dive in and talk to some experts to find out what's next for Maine and how you can prevent yourself from getting Lyme disease. Reporting for ABC7 and Fox 22, I'm Gina Marini.